Good evening, everybody. In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, basically pre-filtering pushdown predicates and server-side filtering using catalog partition predicates. All right, fancy terms, right? Okay, I'll, I'll make it in a simple uh, layman language. So what we are trying to basically learn in this demo video or, or a lab is basically you have a data lake and you have partitioned your data lake by year, month and day. Now over the course of 10 years, the data lake has grown a lot, right? You have, you know, year folders, then you have a month folder inside each year and then inside each month you have a day folder. Now say for some reason you want to do certain analytics, right? You want to load the data for let's say 2008 that's when the stock markets crash, right? So I want to load the data for 2008 and let's say 2002. Uh, and basically I just want to load these two years and I want to get the data for the month of January till August. Now, if you see, if you basically uh, do something like this and let me just quickly show you as an example, you'll say, oh yeah, easy, right? I have a, I have cataloged my data. I'm going to say, you know, glue context or create dynamic frame from catalog, right? but this will read all the data again 10 years of data right and then you're gonna apply filtering ah, not good guys because think about it reading all that data and then you're filtering it out i don't need it i want to filter out first and then read that data so how do we do that right so that's what uh, we're gonna see so again this all is theory <laughs> I, I mean, I can cover it, what is partition, this and that, but I can show you a demo, right? So hopefully you got the idea, right? So the goal is I want to basically, you know, uh, load only a certain partitions, right? So server side filtering using catalog part, uh, catalog partition predicates and pre-filtering using push down predicates. So, okay, in a nutshell, I'll just read. Uh, um, so basically it says in many use cases you wanna you you wanna use a push down predicate to filter on partition without having to list and read all the files in your data set instead of reading the entire data set and then filtering in the dynamic frame which is what i just explained to you right so let me just show you a demo man hopefully this will make sense demo usually really helps right so if you observe um i essentially uh Again, I want to show you my S3 quickly. I populated certain fake data. And again, in each year you have certain months and a day, and then you might have certain files, right? So I have cataloged my data, right? And basically what I want to show you here is when I say create dynamic frame from catalog and I say database and table name. Now, again, if you observe this loads everything, right? And of course, then I can filter down the data, but it's not efficient, right? Uh, the processing wise, right? But I just want for a particular year, right? So that's when you can leverage these um, stuff, right? So over here, I want to zoom in as much as I can. So see what I've done. Glue context dot create dynamic frame. Uh, I think I'll uh, take this in a in a in a nice uh, on an IntelliJ so you guys can read this. So see what happened. Glue context dot create dynamic frame from catalog, which means we are saying we want to create the dynamic frame from catalog. This is the database name. This is the table name. Now see what's here, right? So here we are saying additional option catalog partition year is equal to 1973. So right, we are doing that. And inside that, basically, I'm using a push down predicate to filter out and say, hey, you know what? I want to get the data for the month of one and uh, 12. So basically for that year is going to basically grab certain data points. So what I'm trying to show you is now you can instead of <laughs> doing this which reads all the data you can do something like this right you can load a particular year and then process it you can load a particular year and filter down by a month and then process it again this is very very handy when you have 10 20 years of uh, data and then basically you might want to analyze data for a particular year or a particular month right in those cases this really really helps because now you're not loading all the data but first you're filtering you basically it's gonna do like a list partition and from that partition it's gonna basically say okay for this partition now load the, the data inside that so you're not loading every single thing ideally before that you were basically reading everything and then filtering out here you are filtering out and then reading the data so that really um, helps in processing uh, speed up processing right Hopefully that made sense. Uh, similarly, again, this is just a theory server side filtering using catalog partition, right? 
uh, the push down i'll just read this quickly and then i'll summarize the push down predicate option is applied after listing all the partition from the catalog and before listing uh, before listing the files from s3 for those partition if you have a lot of partition for a table catalog partition listing can still incur additional time overhead right to address this overhead you can use server side partitioning pruning with catalog partition predicate option that uses partition index in aws glue catalog this makes the partition filtering much faster when you have millions of partition in one table so hopefully this made sense right now if you want to dive further i i, I am again I, I usually encourage to read right so i'll leave this art um, this blog post this has everything given here step by step so you can uh, definitely read but this definitely makes sense uh, again in organization and company you're not going to have just one partition year and month right you might have hundreds or millions of partition and as the data lake grows the number of partitions are just going to keep increasing right so i hopefully this made sense and if you have any more question list your question in the comments with that being said keep smiling keep programming all the resources are in the description so please make sure to check that out thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video